How do you think modularly? Now, this is a really interesting question because thinking modularly, I think is something that most of us do, most everyone does, especially if you're in the software or IT space. Now, the big difference that we want to talk about today is how do you actually think modularly throughout the entire software development life cycle? Now, most of the time, when people think about modules, they really think about programming around encapsulation and about abstraction, and really it only kind of takes place there. And that's wrong. Like really thinking about modular components needs to span the entire software development life cycle. But when we think around thinking modularly, it breaks down into kind of four main areas. At the top level is module thinking itself. It is kind of this conceptual notion of taking a large project or a large problem and from the very top layer, understanding how that main problem can break down into a lot of subcategories or sub kind of discrete areas. Now next underneath that is module design. Now this is after you have kind of concretely put down from a 50,000 foot view, how it might break down a little, uh, into 10,000 feet, to start to really start to, to move around the pieces and design this application in a way that you start to segment out and containerize different features and flows and experiences. Now the next click down is modular architecture. Now this is when IT does really start to get their hands in the pot and it is how do you design this from a technical perspective so that things can be packaged up and reused. Now this can come from a number of different areas around how data models are designed, maybe how server infrastructure is set up. Uh, but again, it is kind of before hands go on keyboard and thinking about the best ways to design the system or reuse in the future. And then the fourth level at the very bottom is actual modular programming. Now this is the implementation layer of all three layers above it. And this is when the hands goes on the keyboard and they actually start writing code in a way that is set up and is built uh, to be reused. Now this is definitely around the encapsulation and abstraction area, designing good interfaces, providing good documentation, and really making sure that the Legos at the very bottom can be reused over and over. Now that is a high level into how to think about uh, modular thinking through the different areas. Now, depending on what your role is in the project, you'll probably slot into one of those four. If you're a project manager, uh, if you're a product manager, you're probably at the more top levels around the modular thinking and modular design. If you're a technical architect, uh, you're probably at that you know modular architecture phase. And if you are a developer, you're at the you know you're at the the fourth stage, which is around actually how do you implement the best practices for modular programming. And if you want any more information, we have kind of a much more in-depth guide that is linked below that I highly suggest you check out. And with that, we will see you on the next video.